I'm Stephen Bridges. I'm fifth generation Texas newspaper owner. My family has been running newspapers for the last 150 years. There we are. I own the Goldthwaite Eagle newspaper here in Goldthwaite, Texas in Mills County, right on the edge of the hill country. It's the county seat, a town of about 1,800 people. It's just a little bit like Mayberry. The newspaper, it's still the only place you can read about small town stuff. The kids and the old people and the deer hunting and the Friday night football. I, I tell people that we're telling the history of Mills County one week at a time. Agriculture is probably our largest industry, followed by deer hunting. Starting midweek, we start seeing the trailers coming in. When opening day hits, it's camouflage everywhere. We're happy to see the green of the camo because it brings the green dollars. 25 even. My name is Rodney Spees. Thanks very much, bud. Thank you. Appreciate hey, Rocky, how are you? Hey, Our store is called Mills County General Store. Yes, ma'am. Not only are we an Ace Hardware store. Is it a 177 caliber? But we also sell a lot of hunting supplies. I bet it is. Anything a hunter needs. You want to sign up for the Big Buck Contest? Yes. That's what I thought. They come in early to sign up for a Big Buck Contest because everybody wants to shoot the big one. It's just an amazing amount of economic stimulus that happens. Got your receipt and your hunting license. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I just got a shipment of ammo on a back order that should have been here yesterday, so I've got to get this out. We buy approximately 70% more than we normally do when uh, we're gearing up for opening deer season weekend. It's quite a chunk of change. Little stuff, little stuff makes the difference. My granddad, Daryl Head, and this is my son, Ryder Deeds. Yesterday was my birthday, 91 years old. We're going to sight in my rifle, make sure we're hitting the right spot on the target. You see it? They hit right here? Mm-hmm. A little high and to the right. That's a Remington Mohawk 222. They're a fine little gun. Yes. That, that thing's pretty old. They quit making them a good many years ago. I see the bull's eye. You do? This has been old faithful for me. I've been shooting it since I started hunting. That's about right, right there. Last two right there. You see it? Yeah. I think I think it's close close enough to go deer hunting with. <laughs> We're uh, getting ready to make a little breakfast sausage for a man. A lot of times I'll stay here to sometime 9 or 10 o'clock at night, seven days a week, four months straight until season's over. Well, last year I cut the end plum off that one and it growed back. I don't see how it did, but it did. You're going to be on TV right here. I'm going to. He had summer sausage last year and he liked a jerky. Yeah, right, I do. <laughs> but this year you're gonna make this a little bigger jerk. Okay, yeah. bigger chunks, yeah. we got it. When deer season hits, it's good for all the local businesses. I mean, everybody. Texas was really known for its hair goats, angora goats, and it was probably the uh, hair goat capital of the world at one time. This was a central buying point where ranchers from all over could bring their wool and sell it, and that changed from the hair goat to the demand for meat goats. <laughs> What's been happening probably started around 2000 with kind of a land boom, as you call it, in the hill country, when prices soared from 600 acre to over 3,000 a day is the people that you're seeing buying this land are very much conservation-minded, 
and they're taking overgrazed land and turning it into restored pastures, new lakes, new ponds. I think that's the theme you're seeing with the land shift is they're making it even better than it was and they found it and more like it was probably originally back in the 1900s. I bet you've seen things change around Mills County. I bet hunting has gotten bigger and bigger over the years. Yes, it definitely has. It's busy. Gosh, it's busy every year. Seems like more and more hunters come in. There's a big wildlife management association in this part of Mills County. It's a cooperative effort between landowners. They're actually managing this wildlife resource together. They look at it as a group effort rather than trying to go about management on their own. Sims Creek specifically has close to 80 properties represented now and nearly 55,000 acres, so that's pretty powerful. Uh, when you have that kind of acreage, you can start making a difference by making the right decisions, both in terms of numbers of deer harvested and the types of deer that you harvest. I'll shoot several thousand photos tomorrow and interview a hundred people at least. Everybody's gonna wanna know in the paper, so I'm just covering the news, but the hunting is the news. Make a little jalapeno and cheese link sausage. Gotta get a little fire going. This is gonna give it the smoke flavor. Sawdust? Yeah, yes, sir. What kind of well, sawdust are you using there? Is this a uh, special secret? It's a special secret. A little bit of coffee and a whole lot of creamer. Just about, I guess, Every place in Mills County has got a hunter on it. Lots of deer in Mills County go away. No deer come in yet today though, no hunters? None yet. It's early though, right? Yeah, a little early. Uh, maybe they'll be here in a little bit. stand usually you freeze to death. There's a small eight point buck up there. His horns are pretty they're wide but they're not very tall. He's chasing that doe that's in front of him. I just love being outside and be able to enjoy the outdoors and get away and look at all of God's creation and see, you know, all of the neat things that he's created, all the little critters running around and enjoy the peace and quiet of the outdoors. Well, we saw a bunch of deer this morning, but we didn't get anything. Everything was out of shooting range, but hopefully this evening we can regather and try a different location. So you hit him perfect right there. Great shot, how far was he? All right, Kylie, let's take a few photos, can we? One, two, three. Got it. Yeah, hold him out here for me. All right, push him out. When I say ready, push him out toward me. One, two, three, push him out. Nice. <laughs> well, how far was this buck? How far do you have it set up? 107 under yards. 107 yards. Well, the feeder was at 100, and he was 7 yards past. <laughs> I knew you would know the actual yardage. I know you too well. All right, go field dressing. Y'all take care. <laughs> We've got our share of characters in this town, that's for sure. My stomach runs me just like it runs these deer half the time. And as you can see, like the little restaurant, it's going to be completely swamped today. It's already swamped and it's, you know, 1040. I love deer season. Bacon, eggs, and toast. We look forward to this every year. Give us about 15 minutes. If we didn't have deer season, it wouldn't be busy. The cook, he was sweating, drenched in sweat back there because it was so hot. 
for hunters. One of them said he had killed a uh, 12 point or something. Oh, and then I saw a dozen turkey come in, and uh, they were they were a little upset because uh, the deer had already eaten all the corn. I mean, I was expecting it to be busy, but just not like overwhelming busy. I, <laughs> we didn't even get to have a break, you know. But now that deer season just started, it's gonna be like that from now on. Have a great day. All right, you too. Yay, money. On to the next place. We sort of, our bread is buttered when deer season starts is when our bread starts getting buttered in Mills County. And it can really make or break a year. So we're gonna head to Ranchland Feed. That's another place where people congregate to see who shot what. It's scary. If deer hunting went away, a quarter of our sales tax rebates would disintegrate. And that's an incredible hit to our, our county. What well, I gonna help y'all with today? We're very busy, all the hunters are coming in. They're all coming in to get corn, supplies for their deer camp. Those are 110. We try to influence the hunters to take something back with them, you know, because the wives are like, you spend all that money on deer. You know, you can bring me something. <laughs> Go ahead and bring another one. He's gonna want some corn. The retailers always make their year across the nation from Thanksgiving on to Christmas. For us, it starts when the dove hunters hit town and then opening day of deer season when the deer hunters hit town. And that deer season keeps on giving all the way through Christmas. Oh, you can't like beef jerky better than deer jerky. Yeah, it's been good. I think we've got 30-something today. And we are slammed. <laughs> and we are still checking them in. See, we knew it was going to happen. This afternoon, there may be 20, 30 more. What's your favorite sauce? Jalapeno and cheese, link, and the summer. I can, I can make it all day long and go home and eat it at night. The cleanness that you put in the meat itself, that you know what's in it, and the seasoning that we use, and I, I just think it's all makes it good. I don't think he was even chasing. Think I'd have stay on there? It will in a minute. Man, you must drive like a cop. <laughs> oh, you're gonna, you're gonna latch, okay. I was gonna say. Because I drive like a cop. <laughs> We have an opening day chili luncheon for all the deer hunters <laughs> to come in and eat chili. All right, let's do 20 bucks worth on it. He always wins, by the way. Shush, you're going to jinx me. There will be gun raffles and gun drawings and all kinds of specials going on at all the retailers. got interesting, sometimes goofy people. I'm one of them. We just enjoy everybody's differences as well as their similarities. They are a who. Yeah. Here we go. Stephen Bridges, owner of our local newspaper. <laughs> That's my third gun. Is that right? Every year my wife says, don't buy any more tickets. <laughs> yes. I'm just a lucky guy, what can I say? This is the biggest buck brought in this morning. The deer was about 80 yards. So my dad said, I probably missed him. And I was like, no. And he said, yes, you got him. So I was like, yay. I grew up deer hunting in Mills County. And my children, they want to go hunting. They're outdoor kids. My wife has been a hunter for her whole life. We hunted together in high school. There's a lot of places like Mills County in the hill country. There's, there's Lano, there's Mason, there's Ozona. Deer hunting is big in lots of these places and it's just part of our culture, number one, and number two, it's part of our economy. We're on our evening hunt on opening day. About five o'clock. We're sitting in an oat patch. Evening hunts are my favorite. And all the deer are just walking around grazing. It's a fun time of the evening. And I go, I've been waiting long enough, I think I might go ahead and take down that toad.
opening day of deer season. Got me a good doe today. There's gonna be plenty of more opportunities to get a big buck, but I'm proud of this first doe of the season. This is what I was talking about, my favorite part of the day, in the evening, whenever the sun sets and you see all the different colored clouds in the sky and the reds and blues, magical looking. It's real peaceful out here during this time. Yes, 95. Okay. 95, okay, come on in. This town, we don't boom, we don't bust. And we got your chicken fried steaks. So we're just kind of click along nice and easy. Alrighty. We're not growing by leaps and bounds, but we're sustainably growing. We get our fair share, and a lot of that has come from deer hunters who've moved here. They say, I'm a deer hunter, I bought this land, I love it here. I need to make a living, here's what I can do. And those are the kind of businesses that have started up here and they're thriving. So one of our many deliveries we make on Wednesday morning. This is volume 124 for 124 years in a row. Every Wednesday, we've had the newspaper come out. The newspaper, we cover kids and old people. That's what we love to do. That's who we love, that's our people here. Now, we may not have all the amenities of the city, but there is definitely something to be said about raising your kids in this little community. You can enjoy this for what it is, a beautiful little piece of the center of the universe as far as we're concerned.